second hive inspection for the 20th. Uh, whenever you lift your lid, you see like how you just lift the lid and then you put it towards yourself, but you couldn't see under the lid. Yeah, that's just what to do is whenever idea. you lift the lid, lift it away from yourself. I'm going to tell you why. So the first thing you can do is see the bottom of the lid. Yep. Why? Because guess what? A Santa Peak be under there. True. So like how you held it opposite, some people probably call around, surprise you or get on you before you could see it. Most instances, so when you lift it, because uh, see you're already, you're already looking at the top when mm -hmm. you come to it. So when you lift it, turn it away from you so you get a quick glance at the inside of the lid before you rest it down to make sure no lizards or yeah, anything right. or, or worst case sanity. Now come to the side because remember you're in front of the beehive, that's the airport runway. So we work from the side. Uh, give it a little crack because remember these are little, are little, uh, these are baby kids. Remember the movie? I know we remember the movie Baby Kids. Yeah. Say so we don't die, we multiply. These are little, slightly more aggressive ones. Now we left a feeder in this one. Yeah. Um, I, I know it's empty. I'm not even going to imagine it. I know it's empty because we're still encouraging them to build. Oh wow, at the very top I'm seeing, wow. Okay, so we, we did the same thing. We we brought some of the hive activity up into the honey box so that we could encourage them to build this out as quickly as possible. So we'll make a decision whether we're gonna keep this, go another round of feeding. And quite frankly, this is, whenever we fill this, it's only like two days worth of feeding. Yeah. <laughs> because you know, they consume a lot. But let's pry this up first, the feeder. Here's the hook and get in the, in the corner here. The feeder itself. Okay. Turn it like that, get in there, pry the feeder. Okay. I'm gonna take that out. There you go. Yeah. Now, we know what to expect. Hopefully these ones, uh, they may still look they should still be empty, but we'll be encouraging some of them to build out or to get to starting to build up. Because I wasn't pleased with the speed in which they were building out. All right. So like you see here, there's only one little speck right there in the corner. So as well, we can rest that down. And the rest, we can just pull it over left, right, left, right, left, right. Let's take a look. Uh, that one is starting to build out. Not only that, you notice that they're filling it with nectar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that process is going to force them to have to want to build this out more quickly. And we coated it pretty nice. You can see in here where the cap was. They they they, they fill that cap, and that's good. So that means they're working with that frame. Um, no, we can leave that one in the box. Just we have space in the box. Let's just pull it to the side. At least with the black foundations, you can see it better. Yeah. See, they're starting to join that one together. Yeah. They, they like to fill gaps. Right. And they're starting yeah. to raise this one on that yeah. side. Yeah, on this side too. And on this side too. I wish they would speed up, but um, that's that's how they go. There are different ways we feed and speed this up. I would probably add more brood from another location or something like that to speed speed things up. So could you use the brood from the other hive spot? Yeah, but. I would prefer from a third party because okay. we take when we sold you these we sold um, uh, production ready a production ready is where the bottom brood box is strong and the only way it goes from there is up okay. and then a production a production would be the high where these are already built out and so I'm glad you did it this way because now you can see how much it takes to get build yeah. this box up and, and, and so on and so forth um, and how long and how much you got to do to get them built. Now, we can be careful, watch it. See how, take it, look, look, look through. See? Oh yeah. How uh, that is. Yeah. So, and so that frame yeah. is touching that. So we can do one or two things. Oh, oh you gotta move oh. slowly. <laughs> Girls are supposed to be gentle, Francesca. <laughs> so you, re you read your hive and pull that out. And see how they, wow. they've been building this. And this is because this one is a bit off center because how this cone have dents, mm -hmm. bees like exact spacing. So they're building a cone to create an exact spacing in here. And so we, we're gonna literally take this off. 
that is counterproductive. Can we attach it to um, another grain? We can, but the reason why I won't for two things. For one, this is growing as brood, as grown, as drone. See the size of it is big. Mm -hmm. And you see the size of those ones, those are regular size um, honey cones. And so we brought this frame up, I think, because we wanted to get brood up in there. You can rest that in there for now. What we may decide, what may be the best thing to do, crack this frame and take it out and make sure so I can explain it to you. Yeah. This frame may have already been hatched out and now they're filling it with honey, right? So in this instance, even though I would not want it to have harvest, oh, okay. I think it'll be best. Mm -hmm. Let's harvest this frame. Okay. And the reason why this frame is going to be harvested is because it's irregular. Turn mm -hmm. it around. You see? And that is going to cause the, see the shape in there and the bump? Because it's not straight, the bees are going to keep building, see, these odd fillers right. to fill the gap in there. And we don't want the hive to get disorganized. So we are going to, let's, we just resting it here. That one we're gonna harvest for you. Pretty heavy too. Yeah, because yeah, it's filled <laughs> with honey. That one we're gonna harvest because it's gonna disrupt the organization of the of the of the hive. And you see with this one, wow. see they because it against this frame here that have an indent it build this robe shape in here but wow see that beautiful laying yeah. pattern and everything else let's turn so it they in. will lay first and then they will start building the honey like how they did in this corner no not actually well first if this was in the brood mm -hmm. they would normally have the top strip will have some sort of honey in it so it's easy access okay so all right and, and then yes then pollen and everything else so it's like having a small refrigerator in the room we have them building in the honey super because we don't have to exclude on it and we want this activity so when these baby bees hatch out the first thing they're going to do is they're going to start uh, building and working with the colony so the baby bees won't be flying out of the hive so they feed for their energy to build so by putting this up here we're putting builders where we want them to build the honey super okay. so what we can do we're going to take this and harvest it i'm going to go back to a bag for you soon and we're going to deliberately place that in here right in between those two so these two the the more empty frames they, those that hatch will go into the empty frame basically um it will for the brood to be tended and everything else, we are forcing activity around it. See, normally a hive will build and keep it expanding outward. Okay. And and then that can take a little time. If you wanted to expand a little quicker, if you break the hive up and space it in between, then they're gonna the same building outward. They're gonna build this and this side quick. And so we're trying to encourage them to build as much of these as possible. Um, let's see how this one is. Looking. Yeah, oh yes. Whenever you rotate it, um, pay attention to where the frame, where the cone is attached. So like how it's not attached here mm -hmm. and there because it's a free hanging one the way we want it. Mm -hmm. If you do that way, it's going to drop out. But if you rotate it on its axis mm -hmm. um, like this, mm -hmm. it, it won't have a problem. But if you flip it forward like that, you'll have a problem. Now, this is another good reason why we need to inspect the hive. Um, see here, that's, that's a queen cell. Mm developing right there and i'm crushing it because i don't want this beehive to upscorn or split we want it to grow okay we don't want it to split so let me use the hive tool while you do that okay. and we're going to recenter these oh, oh keep it turn out to rotate it like that yeah yeah um we're going to put that in here <sighs> between these ones. Beautiful. Now that's gonna help build that out. And I want you to show something. This is why the inspection is good too, because sometimes you could lose 
um, in an activity you can lose um, about oh, half of your hive or, or even more. Is that another? Yeah. Now you notice what you're seeing here. That's a queen cell. Hmm. Two queen cells. We call them supersedure wow, cells. I didn't even see those. So that's why I want you to pull it out because in those are baby queen bees. If we leave them there, the hive will split. So you're, if you take them and put them with another hive, they wouldn't form a, col a new colony? They, they can hatch it out into a new mm -hmm. hive. You um, don't want to save them for any of Yeah, we, we could take them somewhere else, but okay. I'm showing you. See in here? That's huh. a queen larvae. See the wow. size of it? See the size of it right there? Wow. That's Please a, send me this video. That's, that's a, incredible. Yeah, that's a queen larvae. Now, if we wow. didn't inspect this, probably judging from the size of that, in the next two weeks, they would have hatched oh. and carried some of our bees somewhere. Yes, wow. it could be most of them too. Wow. And so that will split. So, so if we, the if, if these egg larvae are here, right? Does that mean that the queen we have now, is she getting old or? Not necessarily. Okay. Um, bees, when they sense, and we are in the swarming season as well, and they also sometimes, if they feel the hive is getting overcrowded, they would do that. And we rotate it so that shouldn't be a sense. Um, and then sometimes the queen stop laying, but judging from those two frames that we just moved with all those brood, mm -hmm. you notice almost every cell was filled with eggs. Yeah. So that means that she's laying good. We'd be calling this a good pattern. Mm -hmm. If the queen was weakening, uh, weakening and getting old, you yeah, you see brood, spotty, 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 little here, little there. Mm -hmm. But when you see like almost a whole side of a frame is laid out, mm -hmm. that means she's, she's still laying at her peak. And I think I made sure that your queen was very new okay. and, she, and we marked her and ground her when we did it. So this one, let's leave this out. And like you said, um, I may have to just probably put it into another box. So we don't want to leave that in your box yeah. because it will cause your, your queen to... Can we put this empty frame back in there or no? Yeah, we're going to put the empty frame back in. Uh, we'll make up, a, you're going to make the decision where we want to put the feeder back in. Okay. The only drawback with the feeder yeah. is really every two days you want to fold that. Okay. Um, and so um, since we hadn't done that, um, you're going to make up your mind based on what we saw in the other hive. Let's just, okay. That I, there's we the don't flow. have to put the feeder back in. Okay, let's rest that frame in. Um, we're going to put it against this wall. And um, remember, what, before we leave, we're gonna harvest this out, right? And then I'll bring two other coated frames and put here so you can rest them on the side. So when you rest this box, we're gonna look down in the bottom, make sure there's no more supersedure cells, and we're gonna rest this box on top of the lid like we did with the other one. Some good stuff, it's a good thing you catch that, really. So interesting, I didn't like it's literally like a little larvae. Yeah. I, mean, I knew it was a larvae, but to see it is something new. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got it? Um. Okay. I'll give you a little. Uh, yeah, it's broken. Okay. Good. Let's rest it. Yeah, let's test it. Yeah, that's good. And. Let's start for one of these loose frames here. You notice, first before you do it, you're reading the hive. You notice the bees are centered? Right. Because they build going outward, right? So we want them to build faster, so we sort of disrupt it. So these, we can imagine, are probably not built out yet, or barely built out. These ones are more built out because they're working on it. So when we move here... So they'd be going like this direction? Yeah, apparently okay. more so this way and that way. And so the center of the hive is really here, not here. And so you notice they're over this corner here, this corner, but a few on this side. And then they're up. Mm -hmm. And you notice where you move the box, they were centered above it as well. So we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna pull these ones out. And It's so much louder even than the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this one is stripped. Is it stripped? Yeah. Because I want that in the brood and I want them to build that out completely natural. We can bag that one on the side. 
Now there's a little good thing about a strip frame. I can more easily put it between a, a brood and they can communicate through it. But sometimes when I put a wax foundation in, it's really like a wall. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can make the bee feel that that's the end of the box. You catch what I'm saying? Yeah. And so there's a drawback and a forward motion to that. Let's rest on the top of that. We're going to let it go back up. Okay, we're just sliding these over. And we're just making sure mostly that you don't have... Um, yes, yeah, they build that one out since. Okay, that's stores, so we can put that against the wall. Yeah. Put that against the wall. Still stores and that's drawn. And if you notice here, that white, that means they're continuing to build these mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. See that? That's new growth. That's new growth. So good. They're building that down. Okay, wonderful. Now, here you see an example. And this is why you read your hive properly. You see, like here, mm -hmm. this wax foundation is good, right? But sometimes it can act as a as a wall in a petition. Right. Um, and they can get around it, but still sometimes it gives that feel. If they're building it out naturally, they could go still see straight through it. But we put these down here for a reason. Let's see what happens on that side of this. There you go. That's it. Right. How does that side look? You notice, see, from what you see there, see the activity? Mm -hmm. They're starting to pay the attention to this. Mm -hmm. And you notice it's starting to rise because you see how many bees on it yeah. as opposed to how on the other side. So let's put that over here. Oh, and I'm going to see, I'm going to put this strip one that I made and I'm going to put that here. Now, what it means is that the bees can clearly see move between here and here. But they're gonna start building on this as well um, quickly and also naturally. You wanna pull that button? Yeah, this is drawn corn that's worker corn and all that is new building they just build that out completely and the rest of them uh, you notice it feel like something is touching yeah like okay. you got it is it clear uh, Okay, it was connected. Let me try it out. Okay. There you go. It's really stuck down there. Let's take a look. Let's see. Yeah, she feels. She really feels. Um, we got to get past this one. There you go. You see where it comes out of the frame? Could you tuck that in when you come? Um, here? Here, right here, right there. Oh. Push, push. See if it goes in. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we could cut that off, but yeah, you know, just leave it. And we, we think we have another strip. a lot of the stores and see they're building past this section here i would have cleaned it up but we could do that another time and so in a sense see how this one is so off it's almost like a double section yeah yeah because the space is off since that space is already off it's going to be hard to correct that load destroying it and that's such a good asset turn exactly how it was and let's put it right back in 
Uh, did we rotate it? Mm, oh, that's how it was. I think that's how it was. Okay, good. And let's put it back against the wall where it was oh, as well. Oh, this one? Yeah, okay, this now. No, back this. We're going to leave that one. Oh, okay. We're not going into any more. And we're going to put this one down in here. All right. I think I want to put another strip in here. Um, so let me go to the Jeep. I'm going to make up one more strip that we're going to put in here. Then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we will bring back one more frame with a wax filler for that one on the honey box. And then we bring all that together. Um, you know what? Even though it's still a drop in the bucket. Let's, let's get him another gallon and feed. Okay. Just, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah anything, because we're trying to encourage these bad boys. Mm -hmm. I'll leave this here. I want to keep that temperature on this properly because we want mm -hmm. the cells to be temperature regulated. Um, I'll probably have to go do a quick split or something like that. I'll put those in there or figure something out for that. Um, I think they're doing very, very well. I can't wait to see when they really get into the flow but obviously the queen is up in the honey box that's not a problem for us now because we see how many brood she has there so she's playing pretty good i think you're doing well francesca thank you and honestly this is every time i i see this it blows my mind yeah beautiful doing pretty well um wow and you get oh 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 yeah no no i need to bring an actual one that frame we're gonna harvest right so i mean let me get a plastic bag and you could harvest it um and because I remember the reason why in particular, even though that one had much more honey than this, really since that cone is so odd shaped, right. it's gonna throw everything else off. And it's also just pure yeah. honey. So let's just cut it, get it out of there and let's keep the frames aligned. Yeah. And so let's go ahead, we can do that. Very, very good stuff, Francesca. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Do, 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 do.